It's not the SASM, it's the SAMA. Oh, uh, so you... what, San Andreas Medical Authority? That's that's what it comes out to, basically? I believe so, yeah. And what but is that, the ones... like, like the lab group in the, at the hospital? That's what I think it is. I don't know the actual detail. I've tried to look up the details of it, but I can't find them. I'd imagine Kant is your best uh, contact, but they'll go through, and I bet, uh, based on this legislation, they'll go through, test it, and they'll give it a schedule. Uh, and that's like, you know, how much of a risk it is to the public, and then that will define what charge you get in charge with it, basically. Oh, okay, cool. I imagine fentanyl, I mean, fentanyl is a pretty dangerous drug, right? Yeah, like, it even is. A, even just a small amount can kill you. So I imagine it's like going to be a Like if I touch one. it, like if I touch it, I could fall down and die. Exactly. So I imagine it's going to be a Schedule 1 drug. Did you did you question him? Uh, that was, it was a Frost's suspect. I was just there, just to be there. Like I was just processing him until Wait, was he got MRPD. Uh, that I have no idea of. You're gonna have to ask Frost about that one. I hate when people give me fucking non answers. It pisses me off. Whether a yes or a no. I don't see any questions being read. Please help me you question the guy about the new fucking drugs. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's a PD problem. It's a PD problem. PD problem, PD problem, PD problem, PD problem. Alright. It's 7 p.m. It's time for restart. Marshall Doc, how you doing? Man, not too bad. Uh, I'm feeling a bit better, thank yeah, you. Peach just got the bottom of her investigation. She found out I'm straight. And did you figure that one, Peach? Yeah. I don't know what the, to be honest, um, I don't know what's going on. I asked on. him. I, so I was a transfer. I just got pushed from I got pushed from cadet what? to CPO. I asked if he was well, I mean, I said, I didn't know you were straight. Um, and then after that, I was just told that I was an officer. That's, 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 that was your investigation? That was it? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on over here. What type of stuff you working on? Well, I mean, you know, possible, you know, I mean, this could be a terrorism case against, against Pip. You know, I mean, oh. yeah, blew up that's, a state that's what I would have pushed for, but you told me that you were working it, so there you are. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, did, did you see the evidence? You saw the DNA uh, and stuff? Yes, I did actually. Well, well done, Peach. Uh, by the way, I ran the. Hey, you guys ever seen one of these? One of what? I don't think you would not. One of what? One of what? Philippines! Oh, that's a nice gun. Oh, wow. Is that makeshift 1911? Yeah, yeah. You, you got gloves on. No, I don't wear gloves. Which, wait, are you handling evidence for that, for that gloves right now? Uh, well, I checked it and got all the stuff I needed off of it before. Okay, okay, so. all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, why don't you put that gun away? Yeah, yeah, I'll put it away. Yeah, I yeah, tried we, to see if you could put 1911 magazines actually into it, and you cannot. You can't, okay. Alright, is there a PD investigation into those yet? <clears throat> uh, that's what I was doing. You, you start, well, so an investigation is already, I like that, Vic. Be careful, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm quite the investigator. Careful, they, they, I don't think they like that around here. <clears throat> it's fine, they don't have to. Well, I'm just giving you a heads up. <clears throat> Huh? We're about to go. What do you Peach, mean wake, you wake up, up Peach. What? I don't do. I don't think you know cadets um, doing investigations and stuff. Just you know, make sure you stay on top of your shit. Yeah. I can't tell if IA was more stressful for Sock or the Marshals. Listen, I'm not. Listen, this isn't stressful. Like this is like a fun stress. You know, this is like a fun stress. Because it's like stress that I can deal with, you know? Like, dispatch drama is like... 
not that wasn't fun drama, you know. <laughs> Restart time. <laughs> right, give me music. Uh, what were we listening to earlier? <sighs> that fucking song that Jem sent. It's a fucking banger, dude. Who is it? It's by Current Blue. I don't know who this is, but it's a fucking banger, brother. It's their most played song, too. Well, IA drama was um, I I was different because it just felt like we couldn't do anything. This is different because I feel like I can actually like solve these issues. You know, that's the good thing about the Marshals. It's like we've got the autonomy to like do shit about the things that we're worried about. You know what I mean? Like it's not just like hopeless. Ugh. We can actually like do something about it if we if we put our mind to it. And that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh oh. What the fuck is this? Uh... Okay, there's been a <clears throat> legislation proposed by Los Santos County uh, called the Group 6 Clearance Level 3 Blockade Act Legislation. Fucking hell, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? TLDR. Um, TLDR. It wants to give Tier 3 Group 6 trucks the ability to open carry firearms... Um, brandish firearms and basically be, be uh, I think the idea is they can be armed defenders of their um, trucks I think this is the idea of this legislation And then I just saw another fucking rock post. All right, let me try and join the server while I'm saying this. Um, No. Yeah, I feel bad for PD too because it's just going to be shootout after shootout. But, you know, at the same time, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. It's difficult, man. Ooh, what's a closed case? Oh, there was a verdict rendered for the Ethan Blank VAF point removal. Oh, this was the... Uh, yeah, this was the croc one, uh, a cash exchange that Sky was involved with. Uh, <laughs> so croc asks for a summary judgment. And Angel says, after reviewing this case, I will be providing a summary judgment based on this statement of claim and the included evidence. In the statement of claim, it stated that, it, in quotes, 
it clearly, it clearly states that a black juggler vehicle was used in a violent felony, but fails to articulate how the batty was involved in a violent felony outside of reckless evading. End quote. However, upon reviewing the report, it details that the occupants of the black jugular exited the vehicle and occupied the batty to flee from police from the robbery they are accused of. This means that the batty was used in the commission of a violent felony, which means that it qualifies under our current VAF legislation. The removal will be denied. <clears throat> nice. Let's get him. I don't really want to. I kind of want to talk to Angel before we push charges because obviously Angel was working the pip thing before. I'm, I'm hoping Angel's going to be around. Because I don't know like all the incidents that have occurred with pit before and whether or not they might quantify for you know a bigger charge here We could just push terrorism, but I need to talk to Sherry. I want to talk to Sherry and see if, like, Pip was saying anything. Uh... Political, I guess. It doesn't have to be just political, but... Oh, it's so hot. I need to open my window. Porky rang me earlier. My wife rang me earlier and was like, you gotta, you gotta shut the window. You're fucking screaming too much. I was, I was having a bit of a rage. I was having a bit of a meltdown. Having a bit of a tantrum when the fucking notebook got stolen. I think honestly, let's. I don't think we push any charges straight away. Because if we are looking for like terrorism or something, we might be able to, um, we might be able to, uh, fish, fish in text messages and things, things like that. So I think we can definitely get like subpoenas and shit. And we can fish for uh, any like text messages because we know they had an like, accomplice. So there might be like shit against the state marshals in their text messages. Oh fuck, I might miss Ro. Oh wait, I'm not. Why does he keep spawning me here? I'm not complaining. That was definitely a mission row. Sun's on my screen. 
Yeah, Dark is having a fantastic day. Yeah, you could you could fucking say that. You could say that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, I don't want to read too much because I will get distracted. Oh my god, angels around. Oh my god, angels around. Hey, what's up? Director, ma'am, I need to speak to you. Uh, okay, well, I'm at the meeting, so come on by. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Do you know how fucking tries anything? I swear to God. Uh, Have I been live for eight hours? This fucking day, I swear, fucking. Whenever it's just I'm doing state master shit, shit just happens, and like it just goes so quick. Uh, hey, buddy, you have a question after your first message? It's a good thing, yeah, it's great, but it also feels like. I'm worried I'm not getting enough done. What business would we get to earn money from? What the fuck? That sounds like a Google question, buddy. That sounds like a Google question. Unless you're about RP. Play GTA like that. Wait, is this Angel's fucking car? Oh, it's Jadlin's. Never mind. No longer is cool. Jadlin's cool, but I thought that might have been like Angel's fucking cruiser. Actually, no. With a spoiler, doesn't look good. <clears throat> yeah, this is GTA RP. This is played in 5M. Oh, there's Angel's. Dick. Just, that was the, the that was just like the uh, that was the the TLDR of Dark's day right there. Are you doing anything? I swear to God, I will tell the chief to turn this yeah. meeting around. She said we're not friends, no, we're not coworkers, but if I ever meet seventy seven, she'll, she'll be there. there. The thing was, about rumors is people, people like people like to twist the 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 rumors to, to suit their benefits. Yeah. Okay. She said she doesn't have friends. Over here, over here. Yes, yeah, speak to Um. Yeah. What do you mean you can see why? I'm probably gonna sit next to my boss, Peach. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not good at that. I didn't. I didn't say that. I just need to speak to my boss about. Something. I'm like, I want this arm so much. So. Okay. Yeah, she's very good at her job. I'm doing. Okay. Can't believe it. By the way, your son called me. 
He did now. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. okay? She's going? wonderful. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. He's alright. Um, oh, he, um, he's asking me for money, by the way. He asked you for what? Money? Oh. Oh. Okay. Did you send him some money? Yeah, I'll send him some money. Okay, okay. I told you. All right. Also, All right. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I bought a. I bought a myself. Angel. Them off, Timu. What's up, Dark? On the way. I got fucking blown up by Pipsqueak. There you go. Eh, okay. Well, we're we'll pushing treason charges against Pipsqueak, right? <laughs> yeah, we want to do. Posting on the. I'm gonna be posting on the docket today. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna get a special you... prosecutor for it. Really? Yeah. Really. Man. Well, we just got another piece of evidence. Make sure you record all the. Yeah, make sure you record all. Put us in the report because it's gonna get added into the list of. of uh, yeah, it's of in stuff. a report. He, he put a a motorbike in the lobby, and then like drove a like a pancho in there, and then blew up the motorbike. And I was in the fucking hallway and got blown across the bloody hallway through the door. Jesus Christ! There a warrant put out oh for her God, arrest? Here. Hello, Cat no, yeah, no, yeah. Because I didn't know, I wanted to talk to you about what charges right. we wanted to push for that. Because I know you had a history with it. <laughs> let's put up treason. Let's yeah, find, no, a, let's find a special prosecutor today. Can you okay. talk to Tony or Robin, see if you want to take the case? Tony or Robin? Yeah, I can do that. We'll get together, we'll get together and go over the evidence and finalize and formalize the posting. Yeah. And then We're after taking that, this rat down. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta the rat was gonna Molotov my yeah, car. Okay, okay. so Jesus gotta, Christ, gotta, Dark. Gotta yeah, it's been a day. It's been a day, Angel. What are you I'm talking about? Us. We're gonna have to, no, to no, stop no, like, the rain of like, like the meeting. What is she playing with? Let, listen, let's. Um. All right, oh, after, also, uh, uh, the PD uh, found fentanyl welcome, on the shoot. Welcome, welcome to the meeting of uh, August fourth. Yeah. Yeah. That should be given to our cancer. Uh, my my yeah. birth month. Hell yeah! Nice. Um, they're gonna do it. Uh, start off the meeting by saying, uh, "You guys all look lovely <laughs> on this glorious Sunday." Okay, and uh, let's start off the meeting uh, with uh, Frost with her announcement. Go ahead, Frost. You, you look great too. Nice. Frost. Hello, everybody. I'm 220 officer Selena Frost of the LSPD shift. Do bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. This announcement is brought to you by TRT Tactical Response Team. All right, guys. Uh, today, uh, we arrested a Reed Dankley. Here we go. And um, this is our first time to uh, come uh, towards this. So let me show it to you. Oh, no, we're three mm -hmm. team. That's crazy. Ah. Drugs. Today, oh. Oh, we shit. found a uh, bag yeah. of drugs on um uh, on um oh, okay. on Reed. We're gonna make it tested by um She's Cantor right, today. She's going to be uh per legislation. We have to get it tested. She's gonna do the SCMA. fentanyl. We're gonna taste it. If so we now, have to, we will. Oh my That's god, thank you so much. Right. Right. Damn, I respect uh, that. Fentanyl is, is not illegal, okay? Because per legislation, um, um, it's got to be yeah, tested yeah. by SAMA oh, to be oh, sure oh, that it, it is actually fentanyl. Just one. Uh, what so about, we the, can put what about the cat that overdosed on it, it when it's dropped the bag? I have a question. I have a question. It, it, <laughs> no, for, <laughs> well, it, it says Pinty on the bag. Pinty. Uh, so. uh, the 40% fentanyl is hitting hard or no? What, what I, is, I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know if, if there's what, any. What are you talking about percentages? I don't know what you're talking about. Cantor's gonna tell us the percentage later. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Not a yeah. I'll find out. Fentanyl, Jack. Jack. Oh, Jack. Go, hey, go, Jack go, go, go back. Go to the back of the room. <laughs> I was thinking about a car. Jack. Jack. Never Jack, mind. Jack. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Uh, other <laughs> other questions? Let's go. Very, very close so big. Yeah. Yeah, the bags might might seem dirty, but I think it's because it was in the hands of Reed Dankleaf, which uh, not to be rude, he's kind of dirty. I'm not gonna lie, the pills in there look kind of dirty static. too. That's exceptional, okay. but true. Yeah. Uh, Drug addicts make the best guinea questions? pigs. Yeah. Well, they're a uh, terrible be... taste subject because their blood's already fucked up. Yeah. Was that method of injecting? Um... Wait, was it people like pouring like alcohol up their buttholes to get drunk, drunk, yeah, drunker faster? Was that a, like a thing? They, they need That's some right. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, it's I can yeah. do that. It's called oh. the butt chug. Somebody did that with buzz yeah. balls. Does that work? Crazy. Uh, no, I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. asking. It worked uh, fast. Right. It absorbs yeah. faster. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is one of them. Listen, Reed didn't want to say anything about it. Of course, he he pled the fifth on it, but. Um, any officers have any information on this? As soon as this is will be this will be tested with uh, 
Dr. Cantor, uh, the head of the S SAMA. Um, I'm going to make a report. Um, and, yeah, uh, dude, first grouping a, um, TNT Samurai. Oh Shout my god, the memories. Uh, bring it to that report. I'm going to 311 it later when it's going to be up. Okay. What was his Thanks name again? Th that was my oh, announcement. Hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. Shout out to Buck also. Good Buck job, was there bro. also. Woo, Buck! <sighs> All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, once again, it's my name is Denzel Shice. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm going to open up the floor to uh, Command Plus. Command Plus. Morning, Chief. Good morning. Oh, you go, you're going up there? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, God, I insulted here just before the meeting. Oh, God. Oh, hello, everyone. I hope everybody's How? having a great day. Uh, for, those who, for, the, for those who don't know me, uh, still pretty right? fresh. I'm Daisy Moss. Yeah, I'm the know. new chief of police. Uh, just one announcement that I'm going to pass over to McQuillan uh, regarding the Hades and Saints conflict currently going on. McQuillan, if you'd like to step up. Angel. Mm -hmm. um, Take Marshall uh, reports. Uh, we had a complaint uh, today. Uh, I'm also happy to be here. Um, okay, so regarding um, gang-related shootings, um, I'll take a look. Uh, yesterday, uh -oh. I had two or three separate instances where I talked to officers uh, that they didn't want to push either gang-related or criminal use of a firearm because of a certain court case that um, Erwin Dundee was involved in a couple months ago or about a month ago. Um, the details of that court case, I believe, were that he was GSR positive, was in a shooting with another group, um, but didn't have a weapon on him uh, and was not found guilty of gang related shooting. Um, What's that done twice? The two or three instances uh, officers did uh, yesterday, people, it seems to be the consensus that they are um, not confident or unwilling to push gang related shooting if people do not have a firearm um, and are P GSR positive on a scene. I need people to, um, and I don't know if it's a mainly, uh, if it's in a certain shift. But just across the board, it's not just uh, that is not the only parameter that is taken into consideration with gang related shooting. Every shooting we go to in its uh, its entirety is completely unique to another one that you've um, gone to. Right. Um, the one with the Saints in Hades yesterday, two uh, Saints members were let go and they shouldn't have been let go. And if you go through the proper chain of custody, um, they probably wouldn't have been let go and um, sorry I'm jumbling up my words the, my main point is take your time on scenes uh, with gang related shooting, uh, shootings especially with Hades and Saints it's been documented over the past three days yeah Jack I have a question is like why really uh like the card was lost with the dandy thing because like if you have a dark. gsr positive he was sorry he's the uh, part of the gang Fossey. member like he's mm -hmm. the gang member yeah uh bbmc <laughs> i gang, think we have already oh I, okay gang leader and <laughs> he's attached to some gang and he's in the you know an area where there's multiple members of his gang attached to some yeah you know why we lost the card because something need to happen in the card of detail we're missing here you know like what was the thing why we lost this is what i'm looking for what was the reason we um, lost? if anyone was a part of that actual court case i would happily invite them to come and say because i actually wasn't part of it myself um but when it comes down to things like that uh don't do not feel pressured into not pushing or not feeling comfortable to push gang related shooting or the charges that you want to push regarding uh a previous court case because court cases are Yes, they're won and lost on evidence, but they're also won and lost on articulation and how you hold yourself in the courtroom. Just because um, a court case was lost and in this instance, maybe gang related shoot shooting wasn't pushed, doesn't mean all the evidence wasn't there to push it. Um, it just means there's a strong possibility that it wasn't articulated properly in court, therefore, or it wasn't highlighted in court, therefore it wasn't pushed. All right. Okay, so what I need is on on these shooting scenes uh, that are well documented over, especially over a couple of days. Take your time with them. Look at all the parameters. Um, 
Hades and Saints yesterday. Uh, I don't know the report number, but it should be fairly recent. Um, the parameters that were there was it was a large scale shootout uh, outside the vault. It covered from. All right. Uh, well, you guys listen to this audio book. I'm going to do my north, statements. North and south, east and west. All Saints members are wearing <clears> the same <throat> uh, colored outfits. The, I'm sure you've all seen it over the past few days, um, and even just over the past couple of months. The beige outfits, kind of white t-shirts, so on. Um, units got on scene. It was uh, called out that they were being robbed, and that there was still active gunfire. Um, and then when we got down into processing, they were all GSR positive, and some of them did not have firearms on them. However, uh, being GSR positive, all wearing the same um, uh, attire, we didn't get through the proper chain of custody. Individuals were let go in the hospital, which was incorrect. If you follow through the proper chain of custody, we get them into MRPD, we take our time with it. It would have been seen that one of the people that were let go came back to a previous um, report the day before uh, and was charged with gang-related shooting. The other one, uh, I'm not going to say names, but was uh, on their profile, is marked down as Saints. These are all parameters that are enough to push gang-related shooting, even though all of them were GSR positive without the firearm. So don't just focus on the one thing because you heard about a court case. Look at everything else. Put all of your facts and evidence together and make sure that you either do or That's don't have PC for the arrest, awesome. especially with gang-related shootings. Because it needs to be consistent across the board because it sets a bad precedent going forward when, you know, one scene with Hades uh, and Saints, a few people get let go and then immediately... They're in a shootout two hours later, and then everyone's getting arrested, or other people are being let go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, question? Um, wouldn't it just be as easy as referencing the past incidents in the actual report, and then, you know, adding mm, in, that's a good one. like, yes, the actual descriptions that these people that's have? That's the way really that people used to be... Yep, 100%. Just do a little bit more due diligence and finding all the information to ensure that they're, you know, that will actually be pushed, because... I mean, if they've only been hit with like one person, like one time with them in the past, then that could just be mm -hmm. a friend versus in a gang. Yeah, that's it's very simple. It is. It's it's an extra one or two steps that it we can take. Also, a little bit of extra time Robbie. because ultimately, when these um the... these scenes happen, they are large scale. There's a lot of evidence. There's a lot of things to take in. If we rush it or cut corners, it's just going to work out worse and for pips. us. The, when these when these people are getting into gang related they're on our time right they are being charged or they're being let go they are being dealt with they're in our custody they're our responsibility the best we can do is take our time not you know take the piss with it but take our time and make sure we go through the proper steps that they are charged or not charged correctly does that make sense to everybody opal has yeah. a question opal yeah opal. Yep. i was wondering uh, it probably doesn't really fit well with this but I was wondering if there was a point in bringing up something like, um, like a charge like uh, game-related violence rather than shooting, because there's a. I feel like there's often enough times where they just go at each other with like, knives and shit, and it's still game-related. It's still violence. It's just not a shooting. True. 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 I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. justice. Well, what's up? Uh, oh, I'm just uh, the, I, uh, the idea of introducing something like gang-related oh. violence. Uh, I I don't. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was uh, working on something else. I don't really know what you're talking about. I ask her the question about so gang-related. Oh. Um, usually with yeah, firearms. Go ahead. Yeah. So like we have gang-related shootings with like mm -hmm. firearms, but I feel like there's you know times where they go at each other with like knives and and wrenches and be. You know, we have like attempted murder in that for sure, but I mean, I, I feel like maybe we could introduce something like gang related violence where it's gang related and, you know, very obviously, like, you know, just sort of like an elevated arms. assault charge, essentially. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're like less than it. I don't know why, but my mic muted somehow. I don't know how the fuck that yeah. happened. <laughs> I mean, I could, oh, we, could, we could think about it. I'm not going to commit to anything here, but I can uh, put it in front of the justices and we'll run it through our idea in mind and see what we can come up with if we want to do it or not. Okay, perfect. Um, uh, yeah. Opal? Yeah. 
I think um, if you can take a look through incidents and reports uh, when that charge might have applied or when we were unable to push gang related shooting because uh, maybe they didn't use guns, but like you said, they used something else and give the DOJ examples of how this charge could be applied. I think that would be helpful. I mean, I feel like just in general, it would also help with the scenario it was just described. Like, they're on scene of the gang-related shooting, but they don't have a firearm. They just are positive. Some kind of gang violence. Uh, okay, let's get a the same incident. Video, same colors, same flags, same everything. I feel like something like that would be easy for that, no? Well, I think that that is kind of getting into McClellan's point is, um, you know, because officers see that these suspects do not have a weapon uh, they are afraid to push the gang related shooting or weapon i mean firearm but we have to look at where was the individual the situation with me as a whole for hades versus saints we've now had multiple reports multiple incidents we've had the same suspects over and over again we have the gsr results uh, we have evidence of uh, their gang activity, uh, committing crimes together as a group. We also have the casings. We have the projectiles on scene. We have to be referencing previous incidents and reports confirming that they were involved and building that PC. Uh, as I've said to other people, you know, if you cannot articulate a charge because you do not have the evidence... I don't want you to it? push that charge. You push charges that you feel comfortable with. But if you simply cannot articulate uh, the charge because you have the inability to, but you have the evidence, uh, that is where we need to look at training. Uh, you need to go to a superior officer and work on your articulation. Just because you can't articulate it, you can't explain uh, what you're doing is not going to be an excuse anymore. Uh, we are going to be working on that uh, across oh, the shit. LSPD. Okay, we are going to be working awesome. on our articulation of RS and PC, and uh, this is this is going to be the standard moving forward. If you can't articulate, uh, we're going to have a problem. Right. <laughs> yes, it's what I'm talking about. Yes. Right. Wow. Any other on the okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, I understand that for some groups, they are clearly identified by wearing the same colored cuts, like BBMC. Are you now saying that we can identify by clothing based on gang relations? Um, it's very, it's like, like I said, it's, it's just like the gang relationship. Yeah, it's I was going to say, this, um, is a, this is great for morale. In particular, really um, boosting morale right sure here. Everyone into with the Saints New chief. Tan color. They're and nobody knows. Tan, just uh, telling everybody to like suck it up. People, um, know that shit. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Most of them, if not all of them, in each gang relationship they've been involved with um, over the past three days have been wearing tan. It's 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 the same reason we, um, or same reasoning that we don't charge <laughs> gang related shooting in the first two or three incidents because there isn't a pattern there. But if you start to arrest people, um, in a conflict like that, and you're on your fourth time, and you document, um, I think it's something else we should be doing is documenting, especially in gang related shootings, what they're caught wearing. Um, it's you you establish that pattern to where you can identify them through that as well. All right, just I, uh, wanted to make sure. I would Thank you. Also, encourage people to be updating the uh, PD dossiers related to these different groups. Found if it. you can see a pattern and document it, and we can, can continue to build our evidence in PC, uh, that will be a useful tool for us to, you know, push these charges. Uh, but again, we work on evidence. We don't work on assumptions. Oh, Have you're the fine. PC no, to push you're the charges. Fine. Oh, no, you're fucked. Oh, oh, man. I didn't that listen to that. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Um, if any of these things pop up uh, and I'm on duty and you, you feel, you know, um, not as confident to push the charges or need help with anything, just let me know. I will 
do my best to help you articulate it if you can and if not you know we'll uh, we'll get through it anyway together all right okay thank you hell yeah thank you mcquillan mcquizzle okay folks now i'm gonna pass it down to oh, yeah, sub no, excuse me <clears throat> uh cancer and uh director angel do you guys have anything Oh, so we're just like subs to you now, is what no, you're saying. No, 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 I don't know if you were awake earlier in the storm, you might have seen the announcement that I put out, letting you guys know about two new pieces of legislation that were implemented. Uh, the statute of limitations is the first one. It, it's essentially the same thing as it was before, but everything is very clearly defined and laid out in plain language for you to see and understand. Ooh. So if there were any confusions about how the statute of limitations applies, what falls in it, what doesn't, how uh, evidentiary discovery works, it's all written out there for you to see. I would encourage you to read up on it. It's a... Uh, you know, I'm probably not going to teach you too much if you already knew a bit about the statute of limitations, but that's how it works now. Now, the more important thing I wanted to let you guys know about is we have expanded and enhanced a new bail program. So you guys may have seen in the past um, that bail was only something that we gave to people for HAG charges. Um, however, we have decided through uh, a few different incidences that have happened that it's time to try something new. No longer uh -oh. do we want to send people up to prison have them serve out their full sentence and then go to an appeal to try and get back at least some of what they lost if they really believe that they are being wrongfully charged. Instead, we are going to allow for this new enhanced uh, bail guideline to allow for people to start the appeal process in the cells. Now, this is probably not going to happen that often because uh. essentially when someone is committing to this, they are uh, saying that they were going to commit to harsh and bail conditions, which will be given to them. And they will have to commit to them until their appeal is heard, but they will not oh. be sent to prison. This is basically uh, something for people who truly believe that they're innocent, who truly believe that they can fight the charges. Okay, hold on. Docket, no. This is a program for them. Um, so if you could all uh, please open it up. Uh, I'd like to go through some of these sections just to kind of give you a brief rundown of how this hey, is going to look for you. This ain't too bad. Uh... To start off with, the only people that are eligible for this are people that are being arrested for at least a felony. Misdemeanors do not count. If it, even if it's twenty misdemeanors, still doesn't matter. They can either bench trial it or go to the regular process. You suggest this? Uh, if they've Hell committed yeah. a heinous act, um, they're going to go through the heinous act guideline process, which is very similar to this. However, instead of being released on the spot, they get sent up to prison. Their their bail conditions get posted on the docket, and then they're released at, at a later date. Um, they uh, must try to get a lawyer or make a good effort to obtain one before they're eligible for this as well. And they also have to have money in their account. So we will do a bank balance check or you will do it on our behalf when they're applying for bail. Oh, if they're shit. negative a million dollars in debt, uh, someone else has to pay their bail for them. Uh, you have to have the money in the account or someone else to pay it oh, for you. Oh, sorry, sheep. The way this is going to work, essentially, if someone is in your cells and they request for an appeal, they have 72 hours to post this on the docket. If they fail to do so, an indefinite warrant will be put out for their arrest. So let's go through the actual process. Um, okay. It's going to be very simple. You're going to go through the uh, the same channel that you use to go for bench trials. Uh, you're just going to do this. You're going to request a bail request to the judges or the justices who will review the request. Um, make sure in your in your message you include everything that is outlined in the content section. So the name, the state ID, bank balance, the refs report, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At that point, a judge <laughs> is going to review it. They'll determine the bail amounts. They will notify you, the officer. And then you can inform the arrested person and their lawyer, and they can choose to accept or decline that bail amount on the spot. Interesting. Additionally, if they can't afford it, they can find someone who would pay the bail for them. However, that person must be awake and available to pay it at the time. Essentially, the bail Bounty must be received hunters. before they can be let out. Um, no delayed bail uh, payments. Uh, next up, it's going to be done via a bill. So essentially, whoever is going to be paying the bail is I going to be billed the amount. I want to see um, Not in this city, never mind. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Then <laughs> what they have charged for their bail will not be refunded to them. And like I mentioned earlier, if they do not post the appeal on the docket within 72 hours of their bail being granted, a warrant for their arrest will be issued and it will remain active until the statute of limitations expires. They also will not receive a refund of the bail the amount that they were charged. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, if they do go through their appeal and it does make its way to the docket, whether it is uh, whether they're found guilty or, or not guilty, 
Their bail amount will be refunded to them at the end of the trial. Uh, in section four, we just kind of go through some of the typical bail conditions. Uh, essentially, anyone that requests bail will be given these conditions. Um, they are required to comply with these, and if they violate these conditions, the assigned officer to the case um, or the judge overseeing it uh, will be the ones responsible for violating their bail and then uh, going from there. Uh, if they do violate their bail, essentially they are uh, to be remanded back into custody and they are to, uh, to serve out their remaining time. Um, but this kind of depends on uh, the nature of the charges, and uh, that's kind of why it's up to the judicial discretion of the, of the judge that's overseeing the particular case. Um, so with all that said, do you guys have any questions about anything that we discussed? Most for sure, I want to say it's a very legislation push in uh, my song. Thank you. What's up, Andre? Uh, I had a couple of questions. I read it uh, before the meeting earlier. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just clarifying for myself, I forget exactly where it said it, but if um, when they break bail, it said that they got a warrant, right, for the remainder of the, within the statute of limitations. Yes, that's correct. Is that the damn? Is it the statute of limitations from the crime they committed, or from when they from when bail? from when the the charges are pressed? So let's say that someone was put on bail. The charges are pressed five days ago. They break their bail conditions. Um, if you have them in custody, I mean, you could just push the charges right there, right? My but issue with this is custody, I think everyone's okay, going to ask for bail because their, everyone's going to have money. Terms, the warrant will last for 25 days. <clears throat> okay. Nice. I, have a, I, I, have a, I have an additional question until the second one I had. What does condersions okay. mean? You just said it. I'm a little... Condersions? Off. Yeah. Well, I, I might have said conditions, but I'm very tired, so I might have... Yeah, okay. I think you meant conditions. Okay, thank you for clarifying that one. My third question... Um, the, gonna be the, next one to be so the warrant that was, is going to be put out if they the amount's going to go up yeah i'm sure simply <laughs> just for um once you get break money you don't get the money back yeah i know there a breach of bail charge that's uh there's not a, a violation of a bail charge at the moment they will just be what they were initially charged for um and also will have their bail amounts not returned to them but yeah. Does that go into our, our, our funds? Like, yes. Our, it's like split, it will be split. It will, it, the same as just a regular bill. It'll be split the same. Okay, but it would like, for instance, if we we you know if they you know post a bill for uh an Ooh. Account down, down here in the city. I've got a question. Uh, no. Go to our funds or yes, oh. yes. You guys get twenty five percent of the bill. Mm -hmm. The other seventy five percent goes to the DOJ. Yeah. Well, my my oh. last thing. Sorry, I've gone up a few things, but um, mm -hmm. in the let's say you are. Negotiating with somebody with bail. Wait, it's accepted. I might have, I might have an answer uh, already. Build the bail amount. I might just need to read build, it. Are they billed for, um, the fine that they would get and just not get sent to the jail? And then if they're found not guilty, they'd be refunded. Or are they not billed anything having to do with the charges, time or fine? And that's all dealt with after the fact. I didn't read it. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Like, like you'll say, uh, Denzel is being I didn't read it for <clears> <whatever> <throat> felony. Um. Okay, bail, I didn't read it. I was going to ask a question bail. whether someone could just keep bail keep bailing it. Is he just let off? Obviously, no time because he's not going to be serving time. And that's no correct. He I was like, can keep, front someone just keep um, going and bail, bail and bail and bail and bail. Uh, potentially under investigation okay. is yeah. not to be returned. I actually really um, like this. Yes, they are to have their uh their possession. I think this is a really good idea. And they let out the front door on on this is for genuine people who are going to use court. That's correct. Yes. And so going to go to court. this is a coming about because we've seen quite a few times where, for example, last night there was a mistrial situation where they wanted to fight the charges, but their lawyers fucked them over. And essentially they had to be sent up to prison regardless of the fact that they were in good effort trying to contest the charges that they, they thought they could fight. That's what I was thinking, um, Hicks. It's just it's, like people who can just afford to keep like breaking it. genuinely believe they have a chance to fight So I'm it. glad there's like a, uh, a no prior bail, bail violation nice. thing. It's not fun. You can be searched at any time at the discretion of the judge overseeing your case. There's a lot more... Uh, Why does it say that? You can't have a weapons weapon on you at all. Even if you have a weapons license. It does say that. You can't drink. You can't do drugs. I mean, there's there's so many more things that Hold on. You. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This says really by the court the presiding over the case. Uh, and if they abuse it, they will not be able to be granted bail in the future. Does that mean... <gasps> can we do this? Can Marshall do this? Uh, it is an automatic failure. If we work for yeah, the DOJ, can we do this? Uh, they will not be eligible to enter this program again. Uh, you had a question? <laughs> uh, yeah, just a quick question. Um, mm -hmm. What do we Maybe. do if justice is unavailable and they're requesting bail? I want to go on you. Uh, there's oh pretty much God. always justice wow. available. Um, <laughs> we pretty much see every request that you guys ever get. Uh, I don't think 
Usually when uh, you guys request bench trials and no one replies, it's not because there's no one around to see it. It's because there's no one around that can dedicate Wait, the time to do it. To talk about, uh, so pr pretty much at all times, problem. anytime you guys request a, a, a judge, we should be able to handle it. Not a problem. Well, would you be able to uh, give us can, like a... Uh, oh. yeah, we can probably Fauci, put together a fallback. I might just write in like... Uh, if there's no judges available, you up. Um, so it says search. So when you're on bail, like you can be searched. Your person can be I'll searched, I'll, I'll or your car can be searched at any time without a warrant. I don't expect it to, but I can understand your point. Upon reasonable so cause, uh, right? Response from the justice, then, so it won't take too much of the time. But I'm just wondering whether warrants can do that. Yes, the same channel that you guys warrants. use to request bench trials. Whether the same place marshals you go are going to be given the ability to do that. Whether they count as being the court. Any other questions? Put your hand up, a bowl. No, I to, uh, look oh, okay. I don't want to If there was, sorry, in debt? They're in debt, yeah. Someone has to pay the bail for them. Someone with a positive bank account. So if if they're a million dollars in debt, someone that is not in debt would have to pay the bail. Who's that guy? At that point, we'll give them a phone to contact someone who's paying the bail. Uh, you, yes, you would, I mean, you wouldn't have to give them a phone, but you could ask them if there's... You could help them find someone to pay it for them, yes. You don't have to give them a phone. Understood. Officer uh, Vic, I believe. Can I hey, how you doing? Vic Hanna. Uh, I have a question uh, about... Who the fuck is this guy? Section 1 uh, charges... Is pressed, it with Nino, maybe? Uh, mm -hmm. If an individual is charged with... Is my mouse dead? Act, where is the heinous act located in the legislation? Heinous act hey, is located in dead. due process and jurisprudence is the legislation section you can find them in. I'm all tapping. Uh, yeah. Act guidelines so I don't do anything. What happened if someone were to be charged My mouse is dead. Uh, I have batteries, don't worry. Prison, and you have 12 hours to post this information, at which point bail guidelines will be done by a justice or a judge, and then they will be... I turn it off and on again? And no, it's completely on. Oh, it's defined into due processes, sees, and mm -hmm. the jurisprudence legislation. That's correct, yes. So it says bail is a privilege that can be granted any individual place in a, if the individual is charged with any heinous act. Okay, so there's no like charges that are off limit to bail conditions. Uh, they have to be at least charged with a felony to be eligible for this enhanced bail. Does he not listen? Let's so say someone charges, shoots twenty like people the down things. at the senior buns and then says, "Are they still eligible for bail even though they just shot yes. up a stab?" All That's right. Correct. Yes. Their bail probably would be set at like a million dollars or something, though. Because remember, the yeah, bail guidelines are set like by the, the judge or the justice that's overseeing it. So, the you best know, is at 39 million. The best is at 39 million. Of, you know, a guy going on a mass murder rampage, just shooting 30 people down at the senior buttons, I'd probably set his bail at a million dollars. And of course, you would be getting that money in like escrow or holdings, and nobody would touch it. Right, it it would go bill. into the PD account that does the billing and the uh, the Department of Justice. And it would be returned. So we can't spend the money. N no, you cannot. Oh. Because if they show up to trial, they get their money back. A blip would be cool. Yeah, it'd be too OP. Yeah, I agree. Demon. Man, I was going to get an Does anyone back. else have any questions? <laughs> No, I don't think no? so. Okay. All right. So again, just to, to wrap it up, uh, this program is basically in place for people that really want to fight their charges. If I there's like any it. abuse of the program, please communicate it to us. I um, like it. There's guidelines and safety protections in place that prevent abuse. Um, but we do understand that it is always possible for it to happen. So please just communicate openly with us and we'll do what we can to uh, curb any uh, potential issues or loopholes that can be found in the program. If you guys notice any issues, Again, just communicate with us and we can fix it in a timely manner. Um, but that is pretty much everything for me. I do recommend you guys read the, the uh, statute of limitations stuff just so you have a solid understanding of it. But that's, uh, that's about it. All Thank right. Justice uh, Justice Angel, everyone. Justice Angel. Woo! Justice Angel. Whoa, okay, yeah. listen. Uh, I'm not going to you, Justice Angel. I'm probably going to give you a call. I'm more of a hands-on individual with the, uh, the, the what? learning process. What? What? But Oh, sir, we're in the middle of a meeting. Oh my god. Okay, no, that's, okay, that's not what I meant. Keep it in your fucking pants. Plus one for bravery, though. No, no, okay, nice. I meant like nice. learning. Okay, okay. Sherry? Where the fuck is Sherry?
Yeah, bail bond company's gonna go fucking hard, dude. And then you are, right. then you might have fucking, uh, um, then you might uh, have arrest related bounty to hunters. Station robberies. Uh, we would be handing out bonuses. I'm gonna be looking through those reports today, and uh, I'll be contacting people. All right, all right. Um, Mateo, you got anything, brother? This one. Oh, hey, uh, bro, what? If you need your rifle, sir, reach out. I'm back. Time capacity. Wait, Pierce, you're having a murder? Hell yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Opal, you motor, correct? What? Yes, I am. Yes, what? she is. Uh, any, 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 anything for motor? Yes. Are we going to do the thing that people without shirts can't drive? Yes, that's what we should talk about that. Okay, yeah, go we'll ahead. You, go. Oh, you want me to... Oh, fuck, not in my shift! Oh my god, Pierce! Oh my god, Pierce! Oh my god, hi, everybody. Hi, I'm shift three. This is in my fucking shift, but thank you, Opal. Appreciate you. Okay, so motor. All right, so me and Opal are the new shift. She's shift one, I'm shift three motor leads. Uh, we are finishing right. up our Just... SLPs. We're getting them signed off by high command command soon. Uh, so when those go into effect, we're going to ask Man, everybody who has been just what? yoinking out a motor. It's squeaks have been spotted at the courthouse. No longer, that's not okay, happening. I know. I'm getting caught by squeak, but we're busy right now. Come talk to us. Okay. We want to build a team. We're very Sherry's interested at the in the courthouse in the room with them. Just come talk to us. But uh, once those SOPs I'm go scared, into effect, sure. no more just taking them out whenever you want. Uh, unless it's for a uh, command plus. I'll let you guys already, know if there's a thumbs up if there's a situation that you can grab one. If not, come get the cert. That's it. Sweet. Right. Pierce, everyone. Pierce, Pierce, everyone. Okay. Yeah, uh, Pierce, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, Woo. Mr. Jesus Mayor, do you, you have a few words, Mr. Oh, Mayor? Wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, Michael's got some uh, things to say, though. Michael, welcome, Michael. Uh, come on up, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael Rizal. I'm the Director of Communications uh, at the Los oh, Santos County <laughs> Mayor's Office. Um, if you haven't seen, uh, we built a new website. It's lossantos.me, and I just wanted to quickly introduce that to you. Uh, basically, what it is is a repository that takes the legislation out of the MDT and puts it on the website as a centralized location and for particularly challenging legislation that, that may be difficult for the citizens of Los Santos to understand, we're adding uh, basic summaries in plain language. Now, for the sake of all legal matters, the final and official copy will always be the MDT. The website also has announcements from the mayor's office and a section for opinions and editorials. And I wanted to uh, make is a an great open invitation to any officers uh, within the PD. If you have an opinion or an editorial style article you want to write, maybe about community initiatives or things going on at LSPD, please reach out to me. Uh, I will happily get it posted for you. This is we, cool. we have a bit of a roadmap for the website. We're going to have a, a map that's going up on the site that lets people put a pin where their business is. So it's easier Love that. to find Love uh, that. You know, important community spots that are citizen driven. Uh, is that a question at the back? Yeah, just real quick. Uh, senior Deputy Bean with Senior Deputy Bean with the Sheriff's Office. I'm not going to see anything related to what we you, you saw earlier, right on there. No, absolutely not. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. I, I don't Where's even you remember anything. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm I am concussed though, so keep that in mind. Next question. Yeah. Okay. Was there another question? Uh, I have a question. Of course. Uh, is there any way that that could be implemented to like a, a laptop in city so that we could just go there? Uh, soon, TM. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh uh, love that. Cool. And and I, one thing I want to make clear. Uh, we went into this initiative in mind that this website would stand the test of time. It's very much not uh, something that I want to see go away anytime soon. Uh, so hopefully, as things change in the city, the, the keys to the website get handed over as well. Uh, the only other thing on the roadmap, I, I believe, uh, right now is going to be like an events calendar. So as people have events scheduled within the city, it can drop a pin on the map with times and details and contact information. So basically just making it easier to, to find and, and facilitate activity within the city. Uh, anyone have any further questions or, or Nino, Tilly, anything else from the mayor's office on this? Uh, it should be good. Perfect. Questions? Excellent. Appreciate your time, everyone. All right, Michael, everyone. Michael, Michael, Michael. Oh. Yeah, big Mike. Thank you. <clears throat> Tilly. Uh, <clears throat> now, okay. uh, anything else? Uh, I think that's it. I think we've been uh, here an hour now. Uh, well, I got this, Dan, I'm sorry. I got two things really fast, and I'll make them uh, fast. Uh, Pierce, come on back up. Sorry, guys. I promise I'll be fast. I'll be, I'll be fast. 